it's Miss Crystal. It's Wednesday. We're going to talk about some books. So welcome to February. Um, hope everyone's having a good time. <laughs> but so this time around, I am going to be doing something kind of fun for the month of February. All the books are going to be by Black authors and sometimes featuring Black characters. Um, but I'm still going to carry on with the um, topics. So that's not going anywhere. But um, so for the first one out of the gate, I decided to do Black Girl Magic. So these are all about black young ladies who are in some sort of like fantasy scenario. Okay. So I'm going to start with my teen books and then I'm going to carry on to my middle grade ones. All right. So this is Daughters of Jubilation. Um, I'm really interested in this one. I have not read it yet, but here's the premise, okay? And you tell me. And it is basically, it's set in Jim Crow era South. And this girl right here, what's her name? Evie. I don't even need to look. Evie. She um, is born to like a family of women who eventually gain power, um, like witchcraft power. And they don't call it witchcraft though. They call it jubilation. Um... And she's like trying to ignore it because she has all these other things going on. Like she's trying to help her sisters and she has this like crush on this boy who's making a move on her finally. Um, and so like there's all these like life things are happening. But then in the background, she has like this ancient ancestry that's like rising up inside of her. And so it's kind of about like making peace with your history and with your ancestry and it reminds me like the themes of it remind me a lot of like kindred or something so if you're into that then like i say go for it and i'm gonna read it probably okay next one kingdom of souls so this one is also about witches but it's set in a society that is not here so nothing like here um and it is about this girl I think her name's Araya. <laughs> Araya. She um, is also, she's born to a family of very powerful witch doctors. Um, but the problem is, is that she has displayed no powers, um, like whatsoever. And so one way to get power though, in this world is that you go through these like rituals and you can obtain power. Now the problem with the rituals and the reason why people don't do that is because y they take like years off of your life in order for you to get like magical power and you never know how much time it's going to take off of your life um in order to obtain this power so at first she's like i would never do anything like that but then um this like devil sort of monster thing is like threatening her world um it's like stealing children and stuff and so she's like okay well I'm trying to save these kids so i guess i'm gonna go out here and try this ritual so so i don't know i'll see how that ends up too um yeah but also if you like like children of blood and bone i feel like this sounds a lot like it actually okay shuri oh my god i had so much fun with this one you guys so um it is what it sounds it's about shuri who is the younger sister of black panther um, and this, she's like really young. She's like probably like 12 or 13, um, but she's a genius, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and she is trying to save this like plant that fuels um, the Black Pan the power like behind the Black Panther. It's the plant is like dying. And so she's like trying to figure out how to save it. And everyone around her is like making all these decisions. Um, well, really not making any decisions, just like arguing with each other. And she decides that like, she's gonna one be the one to actually do something about it. So she like strikes out on her own. Um, but yeah, it's such a great, it's, it's so fun. Like the writing is in purple, which is cool. And also if you don't want to read it, because I didn't read this, I listened to it. Um, and Anika Noni Rose, who is the voice of Tiana, the frog princess. Yeah. Um, she is the one who voices this book, who reads the book to you. So if you want to like check it out and hear some cool, hear someone cool read you the story, then like go for it. It's awesome. Okay. Maya and the Rising Dark. Yeah. So this one is fun. It is written about this girl, Maya. She is living in the south side of Chicago 
and she is like just waiting for school to be over basically um so she's waiting for the summer to come around uh, and then all of a sudden all these crazy things start to happen in her neighborhood um like light starts to drain from everything she starts to feel that like ghost like a ghostly presence she's having nightmares about this like kind of pseudo monster um and then her dad is kidnapped and after he's kidnapped it's revealed that like she is like half goddess and that her dad is like the protector of this realm um, and her south side neighborhood is like a, a safe haven um, for all these other like creatures and things. And so she has to like go about saving the realm, saving her dad, it's crazy, you know, who couldn't love it? So that's my black girl magic picks. I hope that you find something that you like um, and uh, I hope everyone has a good rest of their week. See ya.